like the wind, unseen but present, moving and felt, like the seasons, changing at exactly the right time, like the pull of gravity that keeps me firmly planted to the ground beneath my feet, your faithfulness, the same yesterday, today, and forever, immovable, unshakable. Your love is steadfast and you keep every one of your promises. You will never leave and you never forsake the ones you love. You finish everything you start and never have you spoken a word in vain. As undeniable as the sun, rising day in and day out without fail, and just as certain as the setting of that same sun, you are Are there any prayer requests? Yes, sir. Any other requests? Thank you, Jesus. If we are doing the request, can you praise God? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's love the Lord tonight together. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we bless your name tonight. Glory, God. We magnify your name. Hallelujah, Lord. Your name is above all names. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. God, we thank you tonight. Glory, God. Hallelujah, God. We, we appreciate your forgiving power. Hallelujah. Your healing power, Lord. Your restoration. Glory, God. You perfecting things in our lives, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, Lord. God, we ask right now and we believe with Elijah, Lord. Hallelujah, God. We bind every pain in his head. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke every headache. 
Hallelujah, Lord. And we even call out the cause of the headache. Hallelujah, Jesus. Heal, Lord. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus, let healing just go through his home. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. That it don't even rest and move to another area, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It disappears. It be gone. Hallelujah, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a God that specializes in healing specializes in miracles specializing and restoring set free healing god in jesus name hallelujah lord god touch the service tonight god hallelujah lord god cause us to receive the word of god that is prepared for us tonight glory god touch your go your people lord hallelujah touch our hearts god in the name of jesus lord i lay hands on every mind under the sound of my voice hallelujah lord that it lays dormant and only hears hallelujah god, and takes in what the lord has appointed in Jesus name because see we understand that there's a scripture in the Bible that says uh, let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus hallelujah Lord ha, ba, 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 say. God let us think the things of the good things hallelujah Lord of a good report in the name of Jesus because our mind can go away and bring us to areas that are not contrary to that are contrary to the word of god that are not a part of the assignment so god let our mind come under subjection in jesus name hallelujah lord god we believe and trust Ah, oh, my god my god all the things that was in your heart as we begin to praise the lord we agree we agree we agree as in touching in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name I want you to know God hears you hallelujah Lord hallelujah God and we believe and we will stand on the word hallelujah would not we will not stay, take down in Jesus name we pray come on y'all give God one more praise hallelujah Jesus praise the Lord now it's time for testimonies Hallelujah, Jesus. Who has a testimony? Yes. Henry. You can stand. You can sit there. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Any other testimonies? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Anyone else? Yes.
Praise God. Amen. Anyone else? Okay. If there are no other testimonies, Pastor Franklin. Worship the Lord today. His mercies. Amen. And his love and kindness. We serve a good God. Amen. Amen. We serve a miracle working God. And nothing is impossible for him. God is looking for people that will believe him, that will believe his word. Amen. And I want to say that I'm so appreciative tonight for his keeping power and for what God is doing, amen, in these last days. Let's say there is a lot of erroneous teaching out there. A lot of false teaching and people are so confused nowadays. Amen. And I believe... um. There's a satanic motive, motivation behind that to keep people confused, keep them um, afraid of the things of God. Can I see the show of hands of everybody that received the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues? If you receive that, raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at all those witnesses that we have here tonight. But yesterday, there are people that will get behind a podium, Pastor, and teach, teach that that's not normative. That's not, for t not, that's not for today. Amen? And they've been used by the enemy, praise God, to, t to treat people out of what God said that we can have. Amen. And so that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. If God would help me, Pastor hit on this a while back. Pastor, this came up in my spirit and I have to be obedient. Amen. I have to be obedient to God. Amen. So, first of all, I want to pray because I need a lot of help tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, God, for what you're doing in these last days in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for another opportunity, to God, just to stand before you people. We ask, oh God, for you to have your way. Let you let the preacher show up, though, God, in Jesus' name. Let me, oh God, diminish, oh God, and let the Holy Ghost, the anointing, increase. Speak to our hearts. Open up our mind and our understanding, God. And help us, oh God, to comprehend what you have done for us and what you have given us, God. In the name of Jesus. Help us to be receptive, O oh God, to, to have an open mind and an open spirit, O oh God, in Jesus' name. And help us, O oh God, not to take what you're given to us for granted, God, but to use it, to apply it, O oh God, so we can be more spiritual, O oh God, so we can be more stronger in the kingdom of God. Father God, we ask for you to have your way. And we thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. I want to say the Holy, the, the Holy Ghost is for everybody. Speaking in tongues is for everybody. Amen. It's normative. It's necessary and it's important. Praise God. So, I want to pull from a couple of scriptures tonight. St. Mark chapter 16. St. Mark chapter 16. Amen. Jesus, he was speaking to his disciples, and he said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Right. Amen. Can we um, go to the next verse? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. I didn't give it to you. And, amen. But, and he that believeth, And though, okay, and, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. Notice that. He said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. 
Mm. Some people, they don't mind, amen, try to operate in deliverance. They don't mind that. In my name, they shall cast out devils because the power and the authority is in the name. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. I heard people say, well, you know, um, what the scripture is saying there, that, that um, when you get saved, you will quit cursing. No, 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 no. A thousand times, no. Praise God. That's supposed to happen at conversion. Amen. Praise God. When you get saved, all of that stuff, amen, should dry up, should go away. If you're still, if you're still talking dirty, if you're still cursing, amen, something wrong with your experience. Amen. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Come on now. Old things are passed away. No, all things have become new. We're talking about a changed life. Oh God, help me to behave myself. Amen. Mm, have mercy, Jesus. I'm glad when I can just preach a regular message. Amen. So let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 2, and verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Notice that. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And, amen, next verse. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. Notice that, upon each of them. And they were all, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. Notice, everybody that was there received the same experience. Everybody. Amen. I say it's, it, it is the will of God for us to receive the Holy Ghost. Now, there's only one kind of Holy Ghost. When you get it, you will speak in tongues. Amen. These are the individuals that claim to have the Holy Ghost and there's no change and there's no power in your life. I kind of question your experience because when I got it, it changed my life. Praise. I say it changed my life. There were about 120 people in the upper room that day and every one of them got the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Every one of them did. Mm, praise God. You know, I was engaged in a conversation with a minister down down the street, brother. And he told me that it's not normative. It's not necessary. It's not for this generation. I said, really? I said, you know, I, I received the, the Holy Ghost when I was 21 years old. He was like about three. Amen. When I received it, he was like, I was three years old, brother. And he's trying to tell me, amen? He's trying to tell me that it's not normative. I said, brother, you don't know what you're talking about. I said, you don't know what the, the Bible said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Praise God. They shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Amen? Praise God. So we're going to take a look at the scriptures, some scriptures here today. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 4. Now the Bible tells us, now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Many gifts, but it's the same spirit. Amen? And there are differences of administration, but the same Lord 
Praise God. And there are diversities of operation, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For one is given by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, the gift of healing by the same Spirit. To another, working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirit. To another, diverse kind of tongues. Diverse kind of tongues. Tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. But all these work it with one and the self same spirit. Divide into every man severally as he will. In other words, not all of us have those spiritual gifts. Amen. God is the one that gives those gifts to the body, to different individuals. And those gifts, amen, God have given those gifts to, to, to edify, to help, help the church. And the problem is, there's a context, Pastor. Yes. There's a context. And what people does, they overlook the word diverse kinds of tongues. Got diverse, different type of tongues. Right. Amen? You see, there's a, there's a tongue that needs interpreted so the church can receive edification. Yes. And there's a tongue that does not need to be interpreted because it is for personal edification yeah. amen and so they fail to properly apply the proper context right. to the scriptures and so that's why it's so that there's a contradiction but there's no contradiction jesus said amen these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues on the day of pentecost what happened Everybody, amen, that was in the upper room received that. 120 people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I don't know how many people I ran into in Omaha. Amen, that tried to tell me that. I said, what, what, tongue, what tongues are you talking about? Are you talking about private prayer? Yeah. Are you talking about edification for the church? What kind of tongues are you talking about? And it's like, uh-huh. Uh, well, well I, I haven't studied that. Well, amen. Praise God. He said, we got some talking to do. I said, we do. Amen. I'm still waiting for that phone call. I don't think it's going to come. I don't think it's going to come. Amen. Praise God. You come too late to try to tell me that the Holy Ghost is not for me. Amen. I received it over 46 years ago. Mm, mm, it's, it's too late. Huh. Praise God. You see, I found out that the best commentary, Pastor, is the Bible. Everything that you and I need to know is in the Word of God. Amen? It's God. These things are written that we might know, that we might understand, that we might believe. Amen. I want to say there is a benefit in personal edification when you pray in the Spirit. Amen. I don't know how many times I've come down here to pray, Pastor, and sit back, relax. Next thing you know, amen, my mind start wandering. Start thinking about a, a phone call that I had there two ago. I know it's the devil, amen. Start getting sleepy, lack of focus. Amen. It said when you pray with your understanding, Amen. Sometimes distraction, you know, can interfere. Amen. With your time and in communion with God. Ha. Huh. But if you learn how to pray in the spirit. So when you pray in the spirit, amen, this God uh, bypass your mind and it's, it's connect with your tongue. 
Praise God. Amen. Ha. Huh. And there is a, a release. There is a power. Amen. That come upon you. Praise God. Amen. I mean, there is a surge of energy that is released into your spirit, into your body. And you can pray for a long time. But you see, a lot of people don't practice that. You have to learn to practice that. Mm. Every time I talk about, you know, I, um, I've got a membership. And I've just been... And I've, I've just been donating every month. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't go another way. Yes, no. I, I just go right by. <laughs> Amen. But I need to change that. I need to change that. See, because I know what's going to happen. You start working out. You talk about muscles start aching and everything. But you got to do it anyway. Praise God. If you want to build strength, you got to do it anyway. If you want to condition your body, you got to do it anyway. Amen? And it is the same way in the spirit. We got to learn to pray in the spirit. Praise God. Amen? I said we got to learn to condition ourselves. Amen? Not only praying with our understanding, but also pray in the spirit. Praise God. Mm -hmm. See, when you pray in the spirit, the enemy don't know what you're talking about. Your flesh don't understand what's going on. Come on now. Because you, you tap into God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. You get elevated into the spiritual realm and you can flow. You can flow. Amen. You know, sometimes we don't know what to pray. We come down here within about five minutes. We, we don't know what, what, what to say. But if you learn to pray in the spirit, the, the spirit of God will take over. Yes, Amen. Amen. Before you know it, you start speaking in tongues. You start you start, you start becoming edified, start being built up in the spirit. Yeah. Praise God. All of a sudden, you begin to intercede for people. You start praying about a situation that you don't even aware of. Why? Because that's the perfect prayer. Amen. There's no limitation when you're in that spiritual realm. Yeah. But the enemy fight us and try to get us not to tap into that. But it's we got to condition ourselves. I said we got to condition ourselves. And the more you do that, it's the easier it becomes. You know, and that's why we can um, we can flip back and forth. We can pray in the spirit and we can pray with our, with our understanding standing as well. But it's so effective, amen, to pray in the spirit. If you want to be, if you want to be a strong Christian, learn how to tap into that realm. and let it build spiritual stamina. Let it put a, a, a tenacity in you. You ever meet some people that have strong spirit? You say, "Man, how did they get so strong?" Because they learn how to pray in the spirit. Praise God, Amen. And it is a benefit. It is a benefit. And that's a part, amen, of that diverse kind of tongue. Now, there is another kind of tongue that not everybody, amen, um, flow in that vein. That is known as tongue and interpretation that goes together. Everybody, when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongues, yes? But not everybody have that gift. And there is a principle. So God will not only um, give that gift to certain people, but it will give other people that interpretation of that gift. Praise God. So when somebody speaks, amen, the Spirit of God will move upon somebody else to interpret it so the, the church can receive edification. Amen. Praise God. But, I, but people that are trying to um, preach and teach the Word of, of God they don't understand that, so they lump them together. And that's why it sounds so confusing. But there is a difference. I want to say the early church was a tongue-talking church. Come on now. They were a tongue-talking church. See, the Corinthians, they were a group of people that were very zealous when it comes to spiritual gifts. Amen? 
Their background wasn't all that pleasant. Come on now. They were zealous, but they still need to be taught. And that's why there's two long letters, amen, that Paul um, wrote to them to help them in their Christian walk and their Christian development. Amen. And those, things, those letters also apply to us too. Because some of us, sometimes we find ourselves in those same predicaments, same conditions, same situation. But I'm so thankful for the grace of God. That's what the Bible says, and such were some of you. Uh, huh. Were. Amen. Not are, but were some. Such were some of you, but you are washed. Uh, huh. You are sanctified. Yeah. You are what? You are justified. You are separated. Amen. For divine use and for divine purpose. God is not going to leave us where we are. Amen. But he has our best interest in mind because you want to make something out of our life. I came down here the other day and I, I just broke down. I just started crying, Pastor. Started crying. Started crying. Thanking God for his mercy. For 46 years. That's a long time. My God. I didn't have no clue. I mean, when I got the Holy Ghost, some people said, I've been living for God for 10 years. I said, man, 10 years. I was just like a babe in Christ. I said, man, how, how, how were they able to live for God that long? One day at a time. Start, just keep, continue to do what the word of God says. And before you know it, a day will pass. A week will pass. A month will go by. A year will go by. Amen. Continue, amen, in the faith. Doing what the Spirit of God is prompting us to do. God is bound by his word. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 1. The Bible said, follow charity and desire spiritual gifts. But rather that you may prophesy. Amen. Prophesy. Now that's a gift that God used, amen, for edification. Praise God. And that's where they get off track. You know, Paul said, you know, I'd rather speak five words with my, with my understanding and speak, than speak 10,000 words in our own tongue. But he, goes on to, but he goes on to talk about, you know, if it's been interpreted, there is an exception there. But to see, when you don't rightly divide the word of God, then you what? You end up wrongly dividing God's word. And you, you create confusion. Amen. So we know that, amen, there are two, there are several type of tongues, diverse kind of tongues. And we need to re remember that. Um, first Corinthians chapter 14 and verse, and verse 2. 14 and for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, so there is a tongue that is unknown, speaketh not unto man, but unto God. For no man understanded him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Praise God. So the spirit of God understand all mysteries. Amen. I know sometimes... Um, a lot of people struggle because we're so used to speaking English. We're so used to hearing what we're saying because what is our brain and our tongue is connected. But when the Spirit of God come upon you, it's your brain and your spirit that is connected. Praise God. Amen. So don't try to figure out what you're saying when the Spirit of God is upon you. If you don't have the Holy, don't try to figure it out. Just yield, yield to your spirit. And let the Spirit of God take over. The Spirit of God is not going to hurt you. There's no way. Amen. You can hit up with something else. Praise God. God, amen, is faithful. Amen. Praise God. So we talk about him and edification spiritual edification for the um, for the church and also edification 
was come in private prayer. And we need to practice that as an individual. A lot of us don't practice enough. They don't yield to that enough. You ask them, brother, when was the last time you spoke in tongues? Um, maybe last year or something. What? That's something, hey, that's something you can do every day. Huh. I said, There's some, that's something we need to do as believers every single day. Keep your spiritual battery charged up. You know, if you leave, I have a, a second vehicle. And there's people that have a third vehicle. And then when you don't drive it enough and you leave it underneath the tree in the car or in the garage, sometimes the battery will, will go dead. Amen. You try to start it up, it won't, um, it won't start. Did somebody turn on the baptistry? Yeah, okay. Amen. But when you get, when you connect that battery up to another battery that is fully charged, something happens. There is a trans transfer of power. Praise God. Amen. And before you know it, that battery that was dead, amen, come back to life. Juice, amen, power enter back into that battery. Amen. When we're praying the spirit, that's what happened to us. Praise God. Amen. There's a lot of people, they um, let their spiritual life, they neglect that. And all of a sudden, all these corrosion begin to come back up in their life. Come on now. I'm talking about spiritual corrosion. Self-will. Yeah. Mm, carnality. Amen. The works of the flesh, all this stuff starts coming back up. Mm. The Bible said that we should not what? Have no confidence in our flesh. Right. Our flesh is designed to take us to the lake of fire. It never gets satisfied. As a matter of fact, your flesh also is. Amen. Somebody said we have found the enemy and he is us. In a me. Praise God. Amen. We got to learn to crucify our flesh and the affection and lust. That's right. Praise God. Amen. And let the spirit of God take control. There's a place where you can get in the spirit, in the spirit where your flesh is under subjection. And we as people of God, we need to do that. We need to learn to do that. Praise God. Was it Paul that said, in my, within me and my flesh? There's no, no good things. Praise God. Amen. We're talking about a man that was spiritual. Somehow he, had, he got the revelation. Amen. How to keep his flesh underneath subjection. We have to do that. And so when we fail to do that, we have so many deterioration. Praise God. But we need to learn to stay full of the Spirit of God. Stay full of the Spirit of God. Charge your spiritual battery. Learn how to develop a prayer life. Mm, somebody say, if you don't pray, you won't stay. And if you don't fast, you won't last. Praise God. Those are some good principles, amen, that we can apply to our life. Keep on down, amen. Praise God. Because every, I mean, your flesh will never get satisfied. I've seen some people step out of their relationship, been married for years, step out of their relationship because of their flesh, because of the spirit of lust, and then try to come back. Amen. You see, but when you open up the door to lust, praise God. Amen. When you open up the door to sin, Amen. You're on your way down. And even if you come back, you, it's going to take a long time to try to get, to get rid of that condemnation because the devil got, got a hook in you now. Amen. Praise God. So what I'm saying is not worth it. Stay focused. Live for God. If you have to live for God all by yourself, do that. Amen. God will take care of you. I remember I was in a 
I was told you you can't pray in the spirit here. You can't speak in tongues. I'm not in my house. Praise God. Not in my. You can go outside, but you can't pray. You can't pray in here and pray in the spirit. Amen. You see, I was in a hot mess. Praise God. Come on now. It was a hot mess. But you see, I was in a compromising situation. I had to make a decision. Praise God. And I'm glad I did. Amen. I said, God, you're going to have to help me get out of this mess that I'm in. Praise God. But Job said, he knows the way that I take. God is aware of your situation. You have to make up your mind. Amen. If you have people in your life that are not supposed to be there, make up your mind. Put God first. God will move them out of your life. God will move them out of your life and move the right individual. See, there's a lot of people that are attached to us. Attachment. They are attached to us. Amen? And because they're attached to us, they can detach themselves at any time. Amen. When they can't get what they want to get no more. Amen. They, they will uh, detach themselves. Yeah. But you want, amen, you, you want to hang around people that are assigned to you. Praise God. That will speak in your life. That will encourage you. Praise God. That will build you up. That will, that, that will help you live for God. See, there's a lot of people out in the world. They're, they're seeing a, a, a godly woman and they will tr uh, try to attach themselves. Yeah. Same old game. Same old sad story. Amen? Praise God. A lot of guys are like that. A lot of ladies are like that. It's the spirit that is in those people. Praise God. But when you, when you walk in the spirit, you have the power that you need to overcome. To be victorious. Amen. You won't fall for that mess. You won't fall for the foolishness. When you open up your mouth and begin to tell them who you are and whose you are. Praise God. Then they will, they will start walking. When you let them know, you know, there are certain things that I don't do. Amen. If you want to hang with me, you got to come to church. Come on now. You got to repent of your sins. You got to get baptized in Jesus name. You got to get the Holy Ghost. Live for God. Live a clean life. All of a sudden, amen. Praise God. They gone. They gone. Talking about I love you and I want to be there. I want to be there for you, baby. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to find out that joker got kicked out by two or three other individuals. Same old game. Amen. That's right. Praise God. I'm saying the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, all these things shall be added unto you. God know exactly what you need. Come on now. Wait on the Lord. Praise God. Amen. And he will give you the desire. Hmm. I feel hard. See, what he's going to do, he's going to change your desire to his. Come on now. Mm. I didn't know what I was talking about, brother, when I when I said I want to I want to do all in the holies of holies. <laughs> because of what you pray for. But I just feel that. You know, I just feel that, Pastor. You know, I just wanted to give my life to God totally. 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 You know, when you're on when you're on the wrong side of sixty, there's a lot of things don't matter anymore. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. But God is faithful. My God. God is faithful. Yes, he is. You put him first and he will put you first. He know how to bless your socks off. Mm, mm, mm. My God. Mm, mm, mm. I said God know how to put people in your life to help you. I'm speaking from experience here. Amen. Glory to God. God is able. How about Romans chapter 8 and verse 26? Mm. 
The Bible said, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for, for as we, for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning, which cannot be uttered. Come on now. We're talking about when you tap into the Spirit, things happen. You know, sometimes the Spirit of God will wake us up. And all of a sudden, we just have this desire to pray. Start praying. We don't know why we're praying. And while we're praying, while we, the Spirit of God will, will come upon us. And we start praying in the Spirit. And all of a sudden, a name will come to your mind, and you start, you start calling that, calling that name out to God. Amen. And sometimes, when that happens, if you write that date down and that time down, and that name, sometimes that person will call, and there will be a confirmation. Oh, that's why the Spirit of God woke me up. So and so was in trouble. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And so the Spirit of God will intercede at times because we don't know what to say. We come down here, we don't know how to pray. But when you tap in the spirit, amen, you in that spiritual vein, that, that spiritual realm, the spirit of God to take over. So they fail to rightly divide the word of God. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. You better hurry. The Bible said, while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all of them which heard the word. Next verse, please. Verse 45. The Holy Ghost fell on all of them. Notice that. While he was speaking, the Spirit of God fell on all of them. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, how did they know that they received the Holy Ghost? And they heard. They, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Amen? They heard them speak with tongues. The Spirit of God fall upon all of them. They heard them speak with tongue and magnify God. And they said, can any man forbid water that we should not be baptized? Praise God. Amen. And the Bible said, he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? When you, get, when you receive the Holy Ghost, when you're totally yielded to the Spirit of God, they're going to be a manifestation. Yes. Amen. They're going to be, they're going to be a, 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 a outward manifestation of an inward experience. Something happened. The Spirit of God is going to come in your body. They're going to be some kind of manifestation. I see some people got the Holy Ghost and start dancing. Praise God. Start dancing. I see people got the Holy Ghost and they start preaching, brother. Preaching up a storm. It's just like, man, I don't know where that came from. I've seen other people got the whole, after they got the Holy Ghost, they start singing. Start running around. They are so excited, amen, about that experience. Amen. But it is for everybody. Speaking in tongues is for everybody. Let's look at Acts chapter 19 and verse 1. Acts chapter 19 and verse 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? That's a good question to, to ask. A lot of people say, Well, I got it. I'm, I'm a believer. Really? Well, did you get the Holy Ghost? Yes. Paul said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be in the Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. 
Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. Listen to this. And when they, when they heard this, when they heard this, they were baptized, how? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Come on now. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. The Spirit of God came on them. It didn't say it came on a few. Yes. It said them. Everybody, amen, got the Holy Ghost that was there. And they spake with tongues and prophesied. The Spirit of God, what I'm trying to say is for everybody. The Holy Ghost, amen? Some of these, some people have the ability, they flow in different gifts. And God is an intelligent God. That's why we need to come to church. Praise God. That's why the Bible said what? We should not what? Forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Because there are gifts that are distributed amongst the people of God. And when we come together in corporate worship, there is a, a interchanging eh, of, of anointing and, and we get blessed. Yes. Praise God. That's why it's so important to worship God. Amen. Because it's not about you. It's all about him. Things happen in the atmosphere when we praise and worship God. They're all filled with the Holy Ghost. In the book of Acts again. We can see in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Now this was the account when the Spirit of God was poured out earlier. And those people, they marveled because there was a manifestation that took place and they know that this was God. And Peter began to preach to them. He said, you with wicked hands that have crucified the Lord of glory. I mean, you know, he got them good, Pastor. They were convicted. Amen. And they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? We realize that we're guilty. Then Peter, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You shall receive. Every one of you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and unto your children and unto all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yeah. Read on. And with, my, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourself from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly receive the word were baptized, and the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Amen. That's how the church got established. That's how the church got started. Praise God. And notice the book of Acts is the only book that doesn't have an ending because we are a continuation. Praise God. My question is, what kind of chap what is in your chapter? What kind of information are you added, amen, to that book? Praise God. Was it was it um somebody said demons have forsaken me? Praise God. Let's make sure, amen, we 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 put positive information in, in the word of God. Add to the word, amen, because what? We are the light of the world. People are looking at, looking at us. We are the only hope. That's why we have to live for God. No matter what the enemy put in your life, you have to live for God and be a witness. Praise God. Be an example. Amen. And so you see when the Spirit of God was poured out on the day of Pentecost, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. 120 of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. What I'm trying to say, the Spirit of God, 
speaking in tongues is normal. Now, there's a lot of people, a lot of people are coming back to the word of God now. Amen. You see, but I'm glad we didn't left, bro. So I'm glad we didn't left. Praise God. They're going to need to be taught. A lot of people are going to come in here, but their, 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 baptism is, their baptism is all messed up. Like what Pastor Derek said, they're still hanging out the womb. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to help them. Praise God. To get all the way in. To get off of the delivery table. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to teach them how to live for God by being an example. Amen. Let's go to Jude chapter 1 and verse 20. The Bible said, But ye, beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost is praying in the Spirit. Amen. Praying in the Holy Ghost is praying in the Spirit. Praise God. Amen. And so the, the Holy Ghost is for everybody and anybody who wants to receive it. Don't let nobody tell you, amen, that is not for you. They are lying. Believe the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for this opportunity, God. Oh God, in Jesus' name. We give a glory, God, and we give a hand honor. We thank you for the truth, God, in Jesus' name. Help us to cherish, God, what you have given us in the name of Jesus. Don't take it for granted, God, in Jesus' name. But help us, oh God, to stay topping and to stay plugging, God. That you can flow through us, oh God, so we can be in the realm that we need to be in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, let us be in one mind and one accord. Oh, yes, Lord God, in Jesus' name, give us a greater love for you, God. Help us to draw closer to you, God, to yield ourselves to you. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Come on, worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Lama sata la la mo kutura basati ya. Letele me sutura mo kutura basata ya mo. Ika la la mo setele me kia mo sutura basa. Lete ya mo sutura mo mo setele me kiti ya mo. La ya mo kutura baba basata la 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 basata ya mo. Lete tele me me si ya mo kutura basiti ya mo. Let I am also to Rabo Catala Lalaba. Lay a more to Ramama Satayamo Catalan Satayamo. He a more to Rafa Satalana Baba Satayaba. Lamo to Rabobo Satelame Kitayaba. He a more to Rafa Satalabo. Yea, he a more Satalana Baba Catayaba. Le amo kura masata ya momo no kutura bo ketelebe. Isa ya mo kura kasata la la makati ya bo. Di ya mo seteleme ki ya bo sata la la ba. Ita ya mo kura masiti ya bo. Oh yes 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 yes. Oh we thank you God we thank you God we thank you God. We appreciate you God in Jesus name. 
Thank you, God, for what you have made available to us. What you have made available to us, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, glory, 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 glory. He a mosa, ya mo kuturabasa. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, he's in this house. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Come on, the water is troubled. Whatever you need, you need a touch from God. Amen. He's here. He's here, he's here, he's here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Yes, 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 yes. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I praise and magnify your name. I give you glory and honor, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Amen, amen, amen. God bless each and every one of you. We pray. Amen. Well, we got a baptism. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. For a brother. Amen. I came over and said, I want to get baptized. Yes. Yes. Praise God. So we're going to baptize him directly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord. You are dismissed. In Jesus' name.